Hello everybody and welcome back to the Fancy Sip Review. So the Fancy Sipper has been gone for a short time because I went on a trip with some friends to Canada. I went to Quebec City, Montreal, and Ottawa. And on the way to Canada, I decided I was going to get some rare sips that don't exist in New York. The first of many sips I reviewed, I already posted on my channel, but I don't think the quality was good enough to continue doing this. So I decided to wait till I came back to review the remaining sips. Now, the first sip that I'm going to be reviewing that I bought in Canada is Tahitian Treat. Now, I've never had Tahitian Treat before. I know very little about this beverage. I know that the rapper Drake uh, referenced this in a song. Now, I've never actually listened to Drake, despite me saying in an earlier uh, review that Jack Harlow was the white Drake. Now, I know neither of them. I'm just assuming based on their popularity and the quality of music from what I've heard from others. Now, the Tahitian Treat is a vodka-based beverage. What I was hoping this would be is a, uh, like an Elko Pop, which would be more of a malted drink. Now, this is a vodka beverage. I bought this at the LCBO, or LBCO, I do not remember. I know it's Ottawa's beer thing. This is what it looks like on the English side, because it is in both French, as well as English, Tahitian Treat Punch Soda Vodka. Or it doesn't say soda. Or it does say soda. Fruit Punch Soda and Vodka. Here is what the ingredients look like. You're seeing carbonated water, sugar, glucose, fructose, vodka, citric acid. I don't think that'll pick up. Sodium benzoate. Acacia gum, natural and artificial flavor, ester gum, and Allura Red, as well as caramel color. So this is a 5% alcohol by volume beverage. It is made by Canada Dry, as well as Mott's Inc. in Mississauga, Ontario. So I tried figuring out more about this product, because I know nothing, again, about Tahitian Treat. I went to Wikipedia as a lazy uh, a lazy person who wants to learn more about a product would do. And Tahitian Treat has no Wikipedia articles. So it brought me to Dr. Pepper, to which then I learned about Mott, which brought me nowhere. So all I know about this is Drake has referenced this in a rap song. So I wasted three minutes talking about this beverage and why I bought it. So I'm going to waste no more time. I'm going to pour this. Let you know if this tastes as good as Drake remembered. Although this is this has vodka in it. So it's not going to taste like something a 90's kid would remember. But while I was in Canada. I also bought Fruitopia. Which I will review. I did not find Orbit soda. Which I don't think that exists anymore. So I'm going to pour this now. Waste no more time. do hear carbonation so that's good it's not just going to be a flat punch with uh, vodka in it which is what I'm expecting it to be Get that perfectly aligned so you can continue seeing the nice Tahitian treat can. Move this over for a short second. So you see a good amount of carbonation up at the top. This is a very red beverage. It does have some carbonation at the bottom. It has a very red color to it. If I can get myself out of this camera so it picks up the color doesn't look like it's going to 
It's very red. It looks like a lot of the beverages that I've been reviewing lately. The uh, uh, Charged, I think it was called, that Indian energy drink was also red. And uh, there was another red beverage. They They all look like something that would stain very bad if you accidentally got this on clothing. And when I'm doing that high pour, I mean, that's a risk I had to take for my fans. All uh, 20 of you that actually watch this. Now, the drink does smell like Hawaiian punch. I haven't had Hawaiian punch in a long time. Last time I got Hawaiian punch was when I went to the movie theater and I saw the new Scream movie, which was a huge letdown. But I'll tell you, the Hawaiian punch was not a letdown. That tasted delicious. So yeah, on the nose, you are getting Hawaiian punch. Now, I don't know why Drake didn't just drink Hawaiian punch instead of being nostalgic for this, because he could still buy that. I'm going to give this a sip right now. Hmm. I want to be honest. On the first sip, this is a very good beverage. Now, when you drink this and it does get colder... Most of these beverages that I have, I usually give very good reviews. But then after I review this, I kind of regret giving positive ratings. On the first sip, the the on the palate, it is just a sweet beverage. This, this does just taste like Hawaiian punch. You don't get much of that vodka taste. Now, the aftertaste or uh, the finish, as they say in the fancy sip community... It it is very good how it evens out at the end and it you kind of lose a lot of the sweetness, but on the front end the sweetness is great. I think the quality of this review is decent, but I do know that I'm just gonna hear how sweaty I am in terms of uh, comments, which is depressing. I do think my reviews are getting better, and now that I went to a different country. It would be cool to actually see comments in which people can tell me if they've had this before and if they like it. Or if they can explain to me why you have to buy alcohol from a government store in Canada. I'm going to give this another sip. On the second sip, I am tasting a bit more of the vodka, but... If I were to drink this, um, if I were to drink more than one of these, I think that this goes very well with pretty much anything. This this doesn't have that four loco bitterness that you usually get, and this doesn't have like a cheap like soda taste. This doesn't have a lot of carbonating bite to it. This just tastes like a nice mildly carbonated fruit punch. That does taste like uh, a Hawaiian punch with a, a small amount of carbonation. The vodka is there at 5%. I think in Canada, the alcohol only goes up to 7%. I saw a lot of 5% drinks. A majority were. Actually, I can't say that. The Labatt Dry was 10.1%, but that was an outlier, heavy outlier. I saw nothing else close to that. Honestly, even drinking this quickly, it is surprising how smooth this tastes. It's a shame that this isn't sold in America. And uh, if I were to have to, like, talk about this beverage, I can't list anything negative about it. I would say one of the negatives that I personally feel is... The cost of this beverage was about $3 or $3.50. Now, that's not a lot of money, but when you can't buy this in a 12-pack, and if you were to be able to buy it in a 12-pack in Canada, that would cost you like $30, $40. It's insane how expensive alcohol is in Canada. But that's for a different uh, video. It's shocking how smooth this is this this just tastes like hawaiian punch but honestly tastes better than hawaiian punch because it's not sickeningly sweet this has 
a very good, um, a very good, see, it's not an energy drink, so I can't compare it to Rockstar or the Venom Fruit Punch. This has its own just generic 90s taste to it in which you're getting a lot of sugar taste, but with the alcohol, it, it's honestly something that you would think of as a child what you would think alcohol would be or you would be drinking with your friends, but then you end up drinking like Mike's Hard Lemonade or Smirnoff or Twisted Tea, which just kind of tastes sickeningly sweet. This, on the other hand, just tastes honestly delicious. I'm going to do one more cool pour, give my final thoughts and give a review of the Tahitian treat with vodka. Or in Canada or I guess French parts of Canada, Punch AUX Fruits. Not going to try that. Soda AU Punch AUX Fruits. I have no knowledge in any way of the French language. While I was in Canada, all I learned was how to say stop because I saw that on the signs. Honestly, even the pour of this beverage is perfect. The way that it comes out of a can is incredible. This this is probably the best drink I've ever had. Although, admittedly, again, the cost is kind of expensive for this. I wish I would have been able to have tried this before coming back to New York. I would have probably bought more of these. Halfway down the can, still smells like the same delicious fruit punch. You drink this quickly, you're not getting any of that malted, gross taste. It just tastes like uh, a better version of Hawaiian Punch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give my final thoughts on this beverage. The fancy sipper is going to give this the second. 10 out of 10. I kind of regret giving the Georgia Peach Bang a 10 out of 10. After drinking that a few times after the first time I reviewed it, I honestly don't think it was as good as I remember. But, I mean, you can't rewrite history. I already gave it a 10 out of 10. But this deserves a genuine 10 out of 10. This tastes like something that I could not make myself by putting vodka into Hawaiian punch that would end up just tasting like vodka. I don't have the perfect measuring that the Tahitian treat, Mott Dr. Pepper Company, uh, has. Uh, I'm curious of what their Clamato alcohol drink tastes like. I, I don't like tomato juice, so I personally wouldn't have had it. But if you're ever in Ontario, you should definitely pick this up. This is a very tasty, 90s reminiscing alcoholic beverage that it's only 5%. It does cost three plus dollars, which is more so a fault of the government of Canada not wanting people to use the healthcare system, despite their healthcare system being ridiculous. And that's for another video as well, because I mean, uh, I'm not going to get into that, but but the, the government doesn't want people to drink alcohol or smoke cigarettes. It's all over the cigarettes. The alcohol is heavily taxed to prevent people from having health problems. But if you're going to buy a beverage, this is better than Rev, which I thought was cool in terms of the marketing of the 90s hacker uh, club raver scene. This is more of a 90s kids member berries beverage. The Tahitian treat with vodka. Easy 10 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sorry for leaving my fans uh, without them knowing I was going to Canada. But definitely pick this beverage up. This is by far the best alcoholic drink that I've reviewed on the show. So thank you again. 
have a great day and i think in the next video i'm either going to review something called black black fly uh orange soda flavor or i'm going to start reviewing fruitopia which i found in canada which i already had but it'll be cool just do a bunch of 90s nostalgia beverages that are still common in canada for some reason so cheers